بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم and welcome to our new lecture in prose course today's lecture will be for the elements of the story the elements of the story and when I say the elements of the story This does not mean the short story itself, but it means the story which is found in the novel, novella, or the short story, the short story itself. And if I ask you what does every story need, these are the answers. They need or any story needs plot theme characters setting conflict today's lecture will be focusing on plot actually I like this photo which is the first photo in our book in chapter 2 which talks about plot Plot here is used to talk about events and what in the prose fiction work. Okay, the work could be like fiction or not. Those events could be what a reflection or an exact reflection from the real world and here we talk about non-fiction or could be an imaginative what imaginative uh, like let's say narration which has no really no relationship with the real life or could be a mixture a mixture which combines between some real or accurate information and something imaginative which is not real the events in any story could be happenings situations accidents actions okay for the character itself either main characters or sub characters or it could happen to the environment around the characters so the events could be or could happen with the character itself or happen to the environment around what around the characters the concept of blood dates all the way back to whom to Aristotle to Aristotle so in this lecture we're going to know more about some concepts such as climax what does climax mean such as the implotment protagonist like um, the order of the, 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 the events and we may also talk about uh, let's say the character there will be a dragon a story about a dragon and also the characters so this is just like uh, a quick introduction about the course now this is a sentences like for a specific story let's imagine this story and let's read like the sentences together George rode to the lo sorry to the lake George slew the dragon George rescued the princess 
George and the princess rode away from the lake. And George and the princess got married in the castle. If I ask you, what do you need this about this story? Suppose that this is a story you are reading from any book. What do you notice about this story? Is there any connectors between the sentences to show like what causes what, what is the result of what, or what is the relationship between the events in the story? Are there any connectors? Are there? We can display these events as marks and a horizontal arrow according to their succession in time and this is what we call this story and this is what we call the story. Now if I ask you what is the difference between this story and the plot? This is an important question. What is the difference between the story and the plot? To understand the difference between the plot and the story, let's read the same story but in a different narration. George rode to the lake for, for the princess. George slew the dragon in order, in order to rescue the princess. After, after killing the princess, sorry, the dragon, George rescued the princess. George and the princess rode away from the lake to find safety in her castle and... The princess married George to thank him for rescuing her from the dragon. If you need to see her, this story doesn't have any connectors, just a story like events as a horizontal line. However, in this story, there is what we called or what we call in this story there is something called causal what connections causal connections causal come from the noun cause sabab cause and the result what causes what what causes what so we can display the casual or sorry the causal connect connections with curved lines like this picture from our book causal connections using what using a curve line a curve line like this okay now one may ask what about the first sentence? Does it have causal connections? Well, the answer could be that the causal connections could be implicitly found. Implicitly found. But here it's explicitly used. Explicitly used. Another thing the narrator could do is to present the events in a different order without necessarily following their sequence in time. For example, let's read here a third story. The wedding between George and the princess here starts with what? With event two. With event two which is related to event one, then, and only then, there are some explicit causal connections. 
go on to explain why the princess accepted George as her husband by telling how George rode to the lake looking for the princess. So here, the narration inside the story goes back to what? To previous actions, which means that the arrangement, the arrangement of the story is not a horizontal arrangement or like can could be re represented as a horizontal line. Then the uh, uh, road to the lag looking for the princess, slew the dragon and escaped to safety with the princess. So in this case, we would need to alter the, re the representation of the sequence of events in the narrative. So in very simple way, first we have this line when the events like are represented horizontally without using let's say causal connections which could be used implicitly okay here here the actions are connected using causal connections which means that we know what is the relationship between event 1 and 2 or for example 3 and 5 etc using some causal connections such as after in order to for etc now let's go back to the first question that i uh, asked you in the first or at the beginning of the presentation which was about the difference between plot and the story and here is the answer story is defined as the narrative of events arranged in their time sequence which is represented horizontally which is represented horizontally but a plot is also a narrative of events the emphasis is falling on causality, on causality, which means to show the connections between the events who, like what is, for example, the results of event two, event two, what are the causes that, that lead to event two, what happened after event five, etc. So, when I say the king died and the queen and then the queen died is a story, a story without having any connectors, without having any causal connectors. Okay, this is a story. Now let's look about another two sentences. The king died and then the queen died of a grief now we have causal connection and then after the death of the king there was the death of the queen and here is the cause true sabab the sabab of the grief now this is called a plot this is called a plot why again because there is what causality there is causality you know the reasons you know why did the queen die the time sequence is preserved but the sense of causality overshadows it okay now let's see like a th the third narrative now we have here one we have here two now let's look at the third narrative. The queen died, no one knew why, until it was discovered that it was a throw grief at the death of the king. Now this is also plot, but with a mystery in it, Fiona Humud, a form capable of high development. So Consider the death of the queen 
if it's in a story we say and then which means story just narrates the events as they are event one and then event two and then event three till the end of the story but if it's in a plot we ask why why event two happened why for example uh, the king dead etc here i want to ask you an important question what will be the case if if the plot is simply the presentation of events in their chronological succession بمعنى شو الحالة إذا كانت البلوت عبارة بس عن سرد للأحداث حسب التايم لاين if the plot is simply the presentation عرض الأحداث بناء على ترتيب وقت حدوث ال events أو وقت حدوث ال 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 yes الأفعال في القصة هنا simply which would make the plot هتكون البلوت في هذه الحالة البلوت indistinguishable from the story indistinguishable بمعنى the same بمعنى the same بمعنى في هذه الحالة البلوت هي نفسها الستوري تمام في حالة إنه البلوت عبارة عن presentation عرض للأحداث حسب التوقيت الزمني بتكون عندي البلوت هي نفسها للستوري بتكون نفسها للستوري so stories can be arranged into many kinds of a plot and there can never be a story without a plot even if the plot is simply the presentation of events and their chronological succession which would make the plot indistinguishable from the story for instance the story of saint george and the dragon which like uh, has been told in different ways the succession of events is not the same in all these retellings so we have here some versions of different narrations the narrator might begin the tale with the operation of the plague bearing dragon that here is the dragon dragon that poisons the lake and forces the kingdom to sacrifice their children to appease the beast but the narrator might also begin now this is like one telling another telling is but the narrator might might also begin with event one will be talking about not the dragon as in the first narration but it will start talking about George riding near the lake and hearing the cries of distress from the princes okay some retellings invest much time recreating the conversation between George and the princes at that moment they go in details while others may move directly to the, to the fight between George and Dragon. In some retellings of the story, George marries the prince at the end, but in others, the marriage, whether it happened or not, is left out of the tale. All these versions stem from different decisions on the part of the authors and result in different plots of the same story. We call employment what? The process of arranging the events of the story into a narrative message communicated by the narrator to the narrative. 
and here we can see that the narrator like has a variety of versions of narration like and he can use for example the curve line as mentioned uh, here let me go up he can use what this curve line which means that he may not start with event one he like may use the causal connections between the events so he has like some space of flexibility to focus on specific events or specific characters so what are the basic operations of implement what are they first order order bimana الترتيب the sequence of events in the plot may or may not follow a strict chronological succession بمعنى ان هو ممكن ما يتبع ال narrator strict chronological succession يبدا ب event 1 بعدين يروح على event 2 او event 3 ممكن زي ما حكيت فوق ممكن يبدا ب event 3 يبدا فيها وبعدين يوضح الاسباب ويرجع فور اكزامبل ل event 1 ولا event 1 so implement can modify the order in which the events are presented by the narrator for example by beginning at some point in the middle يبدا ب نص الرواية of the story and then jumping back يرجع تاني to events that happened earlier وهذا المصطلح بسميه flash back flash back بمعنى ان ابدا بشغلات حصلت في منتصف القصة تمام for example I start with event 3 and then I go back to talk about event 1 which like happened before event 3 but the narrator start with event 3 okay now number 2 duration now انا عندي مثلا عندي event 1 2 3 4 مثلا event 1 احكي عن the dragon with poisonous uh, 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 how he like was in the lake number two about the conversation between for example the prince and the princess number three about whatever now the narrator has like some kind of a flexibility to focus the time in spe on specific events on specific ends which he want the reader like to focus on and he can neglect what other events by like just giving them a short time to talk about a short time to talk about for example the duration of the events and the plot may or may not reflect the actual duration of these events in the story بمعنى الكاتب ممكن يختصر او النابريتر ممكن يختصر احداث ممكن يمد كتير في أحداث. Implement can modify the duration of the events presented by the narrator, for example, by compressing time. مثلا يحكي 50 years يحكي عن حياة واحد 50 سنة في one paragraph في فقرة واحدة فقط يختصرها. Maybe maybe because they are not important. Maybe because they he or the narrator don't want the reader to shed light on, for example. Uh, the, the 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 50 years of this character maybe they are uh, maybe they are characters which are more important to shed the light on or expanding time describing case that lasted for one second into in 10 pages okay frequency tikrar if i ask you why do you think the narrator may like use or repeat let's say repeat the same events the same for example descriptions the same uh let's say uh, characterizations of some 
characters, events, or setting. What do you think? Could be like for sharing the light for for these important things. Okay, the number of times that events are repeated in a plot may or may not reflect the number of times that those events occurred in the story. بمعنى أن الريتور بيتحكم ممكن في عدد عدد مرات تكرار الـ events. And plot mode can modify the frequency of the events represented by the narrator. For example, by repeating the same event several times in a plot. Repetition, بضل يعيد. For example, telling the same murder from different perspectives. Or collapsing several events of similar nature into single event. And here, like frequency or repetition, I'm sure that it's used like for specific purposes by the narrator. Like maybe he wants the reader to focus on specific situations. Maybe he wants the reader not to forget what had happened. He wants or she wants the reader to like to stick to keep like remembering some important information and I'm sure if this information or these repeated actions if they were not important the narrator will not repeat it so frequency is related to the importance of these events and their direct relationship to the main plot so the narrator wants to tell you in other words don't forget keep in mind this important information and this is why he keep repeating these events or this information connection the connections between the events and plots in the plot may or may not reflect the actual connections between the events in the story. Implotment can modify the meaning of the events presented by the narrator through the establishment of the explicit or implicit causal connections between them. طبعا زي ما حكيت في البداية implicit بمعنى أن نسرد الأحداث زي ما هما بدون ما يحكي why for and then what is the reason جرد مجرد سرد للأحداث باستخدام خط أو وقت الزمن هذا حصل أول اثنين ثلاثة أربعة etc but the explicit connections like to mention what is the relationship between event one and two مين سبب الثاني ما نتيجة ما نتيجة الحدث الأول ما علاقة for example الحدث الثالث بالحدث الأول والثاني etc. So he may like show the explicit causal connection or he may not. And here we we notice that the narrator like can manipulate a lot of things. Can manipulate a lot of things by shedding the light on on some things, sorry, on something, and maybe marginalize other events. And maybe, maybe if I ask you, why do you think that some narrators do not use explicit causal connections? Why? Why do you think, for example, there was a murder, but the narrator does not explain why or what is the reason? Why do you think? Why do you think the narrator may just like stick to implicit causal connections? One answer could be like for suspense, suspense to keep reading the novel or the story to know what is the relationship who causes like the death who who is the doer of the action or the answer two which is related to answer one to add more mystery to add more mystery is it 
أو يعطي زيادة غموض لأنه لما إحنا كقارئ ما بعرف شو سبب الحدث الثاني بيزيد عندي الغموض لأعرف شو السبب الإكسبليسيت بوضح لي مثلا الملكة ماتت حزنا على الملك بعرف أنا شو السبب ولكن لما أنا أقرأ في قصة إنه الملكة ماتت بس أنا ما بعرف الكوزا الإمبليسيت السبب عندي إمبليسيت فهذا ممكن يثير عندي نوع من الفضول كوريسيتي ممكن يثير عندي نوع من الميستري الغموض لأعرف وات إز ذا ريزون مين اللي مثلا اللي ليش الملكة ماتت هل في مثلا أحد آه مثلا آه قتل ملكة حتى يحصل مثلا على الإرث طيب هي ماتت مثلا حد سممها طب مين ولكن لما انا بحكي the queen died from or died of grief خلص بعرف شو السبب بزيل عندي الغموض وبزيل عندي ال suspense اللي كان موجود so the last thing here is relevance similarly the information about the events provided in the lot may or may not exhaust the actual information that is relevant about those events in the story. Employment can modify the meaning of the events presented by the narrator by providing or withholding information related to these events. So here when I say by providing adding Withholding في عندي أنا سحب هنا adding في عندي هنا سحب يعني إما بضيف أو بيحذف وهنا like كمان مرة بقول لأسباب تدفع الناريتور ممكن هو بضيف شغلات بديانا إحنا نركز عليها وبيحذف شغلات ممكن مش مهمة which is not important to the like to the main a uh, plot to the main uh, idea in the story. Once again, the reader will have to interpret which of the pieces of information presented are relevant and fill in the gaps left by the narrator. Sometimes, the reader will be on the door, he will know what is going on, and he will be able to connect the pieces and the pieces until he gets the picture complete and complete. Now one of you may ask me, Teacher, do all the narrators apply those, let's say, operations? Do all the narrators or writers apply these operations for their stories, order, duration, frequent, connection, relevance, etc.? Actually, not every plot applies all these operations to the story, as we have seen. It's even possible to have a plot that doesn't modify or add causality. يعني مجرد سرد الأحداث to the chronological succession of events. These operations are simply theoretical possibilities. كل اللي بحكينا theoretical possibilities. Which writers may or may not use or arrange the events of the story. told by the narrator. 